other YouTubers and subscribers. I just um wanted to do a video over um this class that I went to on Friday, um, which was like two days ago. Um it was called a baby budgeting class and since um my husband's active duty, um I'm military but I'm not active duty. Um, they provide a class um, for, I mean, first-time mommies, anytime mommies, it doesn't really matter. And um, I found out about it when we went there one time, and I was like, oh, I really want to do that. So I signed up for it like two weeks ago, and um, I don't know if I'm out of breath. I think it's because I just took a shower and put lotion on, and... Um, <clears throat> yeah, but I don't want to get sidetracked and talk about that because you know how as pregnant ones we can get sidetracked. <laughs> but um, I just want to show you kind of what I got and I've been subscribing to other YouTubers and I've been noticing um, quite a few that I've subscribed to or found are also military. So I encourage you um, if you have like a Navy Marine Corps Relief Society on base to look for the baby budget class and I know they have mm, other classes um, I think there's a car seat one that I'm gonna go to car seat safety but the baby budget class is really nice because one they give you free stuff which who doesn't love free stuff and two you know especially for me because I'm a first-time mom um, it really 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 helps like kind of just start getting those juices in your brain thinking about what you got to change um, for the baby and all that and how you got to adjust your money and all that stuff. So, show you. Everything that they gave me was in this big old bag. Um, so, yeah, they've been around for a long time. So, this is the... Um, little folder that you go through in the class <clears throat> and this is the thing we probably went over the most be money wise and in it it has your income which would be um, if you're military military earnings or if you're not military just um, you know what kind of pay you have your total earnings um, deductions. It has your deductions because you need to factor that in, um, especially if you're military. Um, and then any other extra deductions, any extra income, um, your total um, your total income with second person. So, you know, like I work, so we have more than just one income. Um, that's this page. It's pretty nice. Um, layout. I hope you can see it all. Um, it has, and it's per month, because you know, it's easier to figure out everything per month. But it has your expenses, savings, house, housing, utilities, food, household, communication, transportation, clothing, medical, dental, and miscellaneous. And then any debts you have, um, like your car loans, student loans, whatever. Um, and then your cushion money. Um, do you have a surplus? And then you, after doing all this, you'll figure out if you have a surplus or a deficit, meaning that you come out struggling. You know, you're twenty dollars short, or you have trouble making payments, or you know, after bills you just don't have anything, or if you have stuff afterwards. Um, and that's this page. And then the back just has a little summary. So if you are military and you do see this and you do not have um, like this kind of stuff for you um, on your base that your husband or you work at, um, I am totally happy with um, scanning this and emailing it to whoever if they want um, to like fill this out because it's it's going to be really helpful for us. I know that, especially military. Um, but it'll be helpful for anybody, really. 
And then in this book, it just goes over your discretionary expenses, which as you can see, there's a lot like people, the things that we don't think about that we put in our, um, that we should put in our budget. Um, so if some of you out there having trouble, you know, budgeting while you have kids or a baby, it's because you're not thinking about the things that you do spend money on, like ATM charges or apps on your phone, um, dinners out, dry cleaning, some sort of education, hobbies, you know, a new licensing fee, just there's so many things on here. Um, then it has baby expenses um, that you need to start thinking about. <clears throat> Um, and, and here it's really cool. They go over, um, they give you five local um, areas where you can get formula. And then they list the powder, liquid, and ready to feed formulas. Um, how much they cost um, per ounces. And just so you can see, like, pre see what you might be spending on formula or whatever. Um, I hope I don't have to buy a formula because I would like to breastfeed. And they also have the same thing for diapers. Um, and it goes by brand. So this is really neat. And even for, um, like I said, I'm, I'm more than happy if somebody comments below, hey, will you scan that and send that to me? Because you would be surprised, even those who... I know a lot of people on here cloth diaper too, but um, those who buy formula or, you know, because they can't breastfeed or um, buy diapers and you want to see, like, maybe where you can save some money. That's really all that has in there. Um, and it gives you six important tasks that you need to do before the baby or after. Birth certificate, social security. Um, military, you have to add to your page two. Um, add to medical. Um, add to your beneficiary page. It's military. Um, do a, a will and all that good stuff. So, and then they get this really cool baby book for oral health. Um, because they say six to twelve months, your baby should at least have seen a dentist and they just go over your oral care, newborn's oral care, the teeth that will be coming in or whatnot. Like a little chart shows you what their teeth should look like and what they shouldn't look like. <laughs> um, yeah, it goes over some really neat stuff in here um, and then has places for photos. So that's really cool. Um, and then also give you this the money wise spending log. So they advise you do this for a month and you just put, you know, bills, candy bars, cappuccinos, cigarettes, uh, magazines, whatever you spend your money on. Every time you spend money, put it in here because you're going to have to change it when the baby comes. <laughs> and I have not started this. I want to, um, start probably next month just because I forgot to start it. But I just took this class like two days ago. Sorry, my dog's working. Okay, so now I want to show you all the cool things they gave me. Um, I picked the boy one because um, I don't know what I'm having. I feel like it's a girl, but I don't know. So I picked the boy one. So, But actually a lot of stuff in here is really gender neutral. It can go for a girl too. They give you a set of bibs. They love you. Striped one. And just little swirlies and stars. Super cute. Um, and they give you um, three sleeping plays. They're three to six months. From Gerber. This cute little like zoo animal. I put that on a girl or a boy, honestly. They give you a knit crib sheet. Little zoo animal. And another one, knit crib sheet. Just the white one.
and um, a five pack of six to nine months onesies, just the little white ones. Which I like that they give you a variety of stuff. Um, a thermal blanket. And this, like a lot of this stuff feels like really good quality. I don't know what you guys think about Gerber, but all this stuff is Gerber that they give you. Um, I think this, these are cute, but of course, um, I've never ripped my own baby. I've ripped babies, but these go over your little shoulder, your little burnt cloth. Little cutie. That one. There's that one. Yeah, so cute. So cute. <laughs> and then this one I took out. Um, it's a it's a baby bath towel. Um, the one where they put their head in. You can see. Oh, did the little washcloth come out? Yeah, I did. Little bath towel. They put their head in. Just green. Little border. I think it says something at the top. Yeah, best friend, little giraffe. Um, little washcloth. I gave you a little cloth. Um, these are the newborn ones, three or three months. So everything really like kind of matches. So the hub. And then they gave you um, a little book. This has um, Spanish words in it. Which I know Spanish, so I think it's neat for you to teach your kids other languages. Um, Feast for Ten, little book. To give you. Um, I want to say that's it. I think so. Of course, I showed you guys this that I bought, which I actually saw another um, person I just subscribed to. She bought the same thing. Great minds think alike, I guess. Um, yeah, and that's it, I'm pretty sure. I'll maybe give you instructions on how to wash the baby stuff. Oh, no, I forgot something. <laughs> I think it's knitted. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's melted, knitted or melted, knitted or crocheted. It's a blanket. To me, blues and greens, and yellows and orange, it is. You can put that on boy or girl. Like I don't know if I'd feel so comfortable putting um, paint a whole bunch of pinks and stuff on a boy or a girl. But I love purple, so I have a girl. I don't want a ton of pink. But, um, yeah, I think that's it. So, like I said, um, you know, I just kind of wanted to go over um, the stuff that I got for free. And just because I had seen that I had a lot of military people that I'm subscribed to and that a um, couple people have just subscribed to me. So, I encourage you that um, if you don't know about that stuff or... Um, you just, you know, might want to try it. It just I means it's free stuff, and it's just nice to, you know, get to do that. 